Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. There's only three laps, so I don't think they're going to quite have enough time to catch us. Oh! We did get T-boned across the finish line, though. Oh, I don't think I've ever been T-boned across the finish line in a game before. That was quite funny. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are playing a brand new game here on the channel which of course is Wreckfest. Now usually when we do these kind of driving games we try to take the fastest route through the course, we try not to crash into the other cars, occasionally you have a little bump and usually the game would critique you for that, you know, it would punish you for that. But in Wreckfest, it kind of punishes you for not crashing into other people. So the whole aim in the game here is obviously to cause as much destruction as possible. It's a demo derby game. But there is also some kind of races as well. So you do need to come first. So you've got to be kind of strategic um, whether you're going to ram people or actually try and win the race. So I've played this game very, very briefly. I've done one of the lawnmower races, um, one of the lawnmower demolition derbies, and I have also done two of the championship races in the Mustang that you can see there on the right of the screen. So we're going to sort of just continue from where I left off. Um, I wanted to just kind of do a few checks. I am recording with a new microphone. Um, recording this on the series x so hopefully everything is going to be okay let me know if you want me to do like a setup showcase of the kind of uh, gaming setup that i have going on because i'll do one of those videos if you want to see that and um i also wanted to welcome some of the new subscribers because there has been quite a lot of you recently so thank you for joining us it is appreciated and uh, if you're wondering when to expect content, then every Saturday at 4pm, exactly when this video came out. But let's just hop straight into it. We're going to go back into the career. We're already um, signed up for this junior, uh, ju regional juniors, sorry. So we're going to go on here, and as you can see, I have done two of the uh, first four races and i've also done this eat dirt challenge here in the lawnmowers so we're just going to continue on this uh, natural born wreckers right so here we go this is one of the kind of races that you can do we're in fire rock raceway today and um, so far the tracks that i've been on one was dirt and one was half dirt and half tarmac Today the surface is 80% tarmac, 14% gravel, which is quite nice. We've got a little bit of both. So you can go ahead and tune your vehicle and everything. I'm just going to hit start and uh, go for it. I have got manual on here as well. So I do need to change the gears. We've got a few different cars in here. We'll have a look at the garage of cars in just a bit. But I really love the handling of these cars. I think they handle incredibly well. It's it's kind of very realistic. It's not the same as maybe like Forza Horizon or Forza Motorsport. But as kind of like an arcade game, I would class this as an arcade game. It does feel quite realistic still. It does feel sort of like a simulator. The only thing that I do find a bit of a shame for something that's called Wreckfest and it is like a demo derby game, the crash physics aren't amazing. So I wasn't expecting them to be in you know, a like BMNG drive good, but I was expecting them to be a little bit better. But they're kind of on par with maybe like GTA 5, which if you play GTA 5, you know they're probably not that brilliant. And there we go, across the finish line, we finished in first position, best lap was a 49.8, and there we go, That our car was called the Rocket, you can see a few of the names of the other vehicles there, so let's just go ahead and continue, we get a few more credits here, 
So we have 9,687 credits. So you get about 1,000 credits per race, which is pretty good. And then once you level up, you get a few uh, tuning parts like this. So you can see we've got sports exhaust, ignition, and window mesh. And they all make your car faster and stronger. So I think we might head to the garage, have a look at some of the upgrades, and then have a look at some of the cars as well. But we're going to stick with the rocket for now. I have done a few upgrades on this already. So I'm not going to bother upgrading it right now. But I want to show you some of the new or some of the vehicles that we have in this game. Because there's quite a few um, to look at. So I'll just whiz through them quickly. And you can see that some of them match the real vehicle very, very similarly. So when we get through in a minute, you'll see that some of the vehicles, you'll probably recognize what they are like straight away. Like this one, for example, is clearly a classic Nissan Skyline. And then we've got this one's kind of like an old Chevy Blazer, maybe. But I'll just go through them quite quickly so you can see some of the vehicles. Because I've noticed a lot of people overlook this part of... Um, Wreckfest because there is a load of cool vehicles in here a lot of these are locked at the moment So we're not going to be able to unlock them till we progress through the game a bit But there is some nice additions in here and uh, As you can see just below the vehicle It tells you the actual statistics of the vehicle, you know the acceleration top speed cornering and strength so each vehicle has different uh, <coughs> has different statistics depending on what kind of car it is so the little lightweight vehicles you know they'll probably have a lot less strength but they'll probably have a lot better steering and acceleration whereas some of these big like american cars well this is like an old xjs it's not american but yeah the american cars um will probably have a lot more strength but they'll be a little bit slower so it's kind of that trade-off. You can upgrade your vehicles, <clears throat> so that's not a concern, but if you've got a good car to start out with, you want something kind of good all round to start off with, and, uh, and then you can go in and upgrade and make it even better. But that is the full list of vehicles there. There's quite a few. I'm not sure how many exactly there is, but there's maybe about 25 to 30 vehicles, which is nice. So um, let's go ahead and do another race and then we'll see if we can do like a demolition derby type event. Alright, here we come up to the finish line. I don't know if this is going to be our fastest lap, but there we go. We crossed the line in first position. Our best lap was a 54.3. I don't know whether that's good. It seems to be a lot faster than the other cars that were going around this track. So pretty good. We got a few more credits. I don't think we're going to level up. <coughs> no, we're not. Excuse me. Well, there we go. <coughs> that is our first championship complete. So we get we got uh, 400 out of 400 points. We got one out of four stars. Our final position was first, and we've unlocked unlocked the banger racing the banger blitz so let's go and do one of these races and see how that goes right so i've just been having a little look at the race i want to do it's an oval uh race like a figure eight kind of course um and it's banger racing so it's effectively still a kind of lap around the track but there's going to be a lot more crashes involved and things and the car we have is absolutely super for that, but there is a restriction on it. It has to be a European manufactured car. And the only car I own is an American one. So we're going to have to go in here and buy a new vehicle. We've got 10,000 credits. The first few cars here are European. So I'm just going to have a little look through these and decide maybe which one I'd like to buy. I don't think we're going to be able to afford any of these. So it's going to be one of these first ones here. I'm liking the look of this, the Firefly. It kind of looks like an old Renault 5. 
not the Renault 5 Turbo, but just like a normal Renault 5. It kind of looks a bit like that to me. Or it maybe looks like an old Saab. I think maybe that's what it is based off. But anyway, I think we're going to go for that. There we go. You are now the proud owner of a Firefly. And it actually removes it from the store once you've bought it. So once you've bought all the vehicles, that's it. You own all the vehicles. So let's go and see what the Firefly can do in this next race. All right, here we are in Madman Stadium, figure eight course. I believe it is all tarmac. There's a jump in the middle there. There we go. So we've got four events. If we win those, we go into the semi-final, and then we've got the the final. So this is qualifying at the moment. We've got a few uh, ringers in the uh, crowd, it seems. I don't know what those big hearse looking vehicles are these white things they look ridiculous but i think this is where we might find out how good the crash physics are if we're going to lose any body panels or not we're up the side of another firefly we're going to hit the jump oh yes we cleared that beautifully there that was very nice he's a up ahead of having a big crash i'm just going to hug the inside and go right past it once we get out a bit in ahead once we get to that um crossover section I think there's going to be some big crashes here here we go look out to the right okay it wasn't as bad as I thought there's only three laps so I don't think they're going to quite have enough time to catch us oh we did get t-boned across the finish line though oh I don't think I've ever been t-boned across the finish line in a game before that was quite funny well, there we go, that was qualifying round one of three. Um, I think we're going to leave it there for this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction to um, Wreckfest. I nearly forgot the name of the game right there. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos on Wreckfest. It's a game that I quite enjoy playing. It is on Game Pass, so I've got it for free basically. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.